Well, you guys asked for it, so I'm going to give you it. This is a spoon ring tutorial. So I'm showing you how to make a band spoon ring. Now, if you have ever ordered from me, you would know that I always treat my customers like a friend. And I always answer questions that are always asked. Now, if you don't know me, I run a business where I turn cutlery into rings. Sometimes cuff bracelets and pendants for chains. I found this very nice spoon on eBay. It was in like a job lot. I ended up receiving around 20 pieces and then this one was in there. But I think this part is going to make a really nice ring. So enough yapping let's get this turned into a ring also before turning this into a ring i love it when people send me messages like this and i always love seeing you wear the ring if you ever buy from me please send me pictures and i can post them on my instagram and my tiktok and show everybody hopefully one day i can go down into the shops or into the town and i can see somebody wearing my ring and then start up a conversation with them first i'm going to grab this 20 right here actual orders i always pre-bend the order just so i can actually get the exact size now you can use a caliper to get the actual size in millimeters and the thickness and all that yada yada but sometimes i don't trust it so all i do now now is pre-bend so i'm gonna make this one into a size 10 i'm gonna put that in here and pre-bend it to a size 10 just like so that is now a size 10 so i'm gonna take a sharpie and mark where the end meets which would be just in front of that now when you do this make sure to kind of cut behind that black line there's a there's a little bit of lifting there now i'm gonna open this back up and cut that with the bolt cutters bend that back open and cut with the bolt cutters now you're going to grab a file and file that sharp edge down because it has left a nasty sharp edge i'm also going to use this dremel that is now very very smooth now we just have to go on to the main part and that's bending i'll take the 20 gauge and just finish this ring off and bend it perfectly And then when the ring gets smaller, go down in gauges and the ring should meet up at that joint. And as you can see there, I am not lying right on the 10. But that ring is looking pretty nice. And yes, the joint doesn't pinch at your skin. But that's what it is looking like on my finger. It kind of looks like a keeper ring, no? If you are interested in buying my rings, my links are all in my bio. But if you want to give this a try, please give it a try. But don't do it if you're just after the money. You need to fall in love with your craft. But yeah, that ring has now been finished. If you have any questions for me, leave the questions in the comments, please.